اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Hi girls and guys, how are you? I am your friend Muhammad Sajid Qureshi and today we will discuss the topic of antenna. Antenna is one of the appendage of head. It is the sensory organ in case of an insect. It is also called as feelers. It performs the following functions like selection of food, selection of suitable food plants for egg laying, to find out its prey or enemy, to feed or to save its life and also to find their mates. In case of many insects, it's a question that no antenna, no love. So we can say that antenna is the love organ of an insect. In this picture, you are looking at the at an insect which is the typical or basic insect which we study in the subject of entomology. And the arrow is pointing towards the antenna of that insect. This insect is known as a grasshopper. Now we will discuss the parts of antenna. Basically each antenna consists of three parts. First scape, second pedicel and third is known as flagellum. First of all scape. Scape is the first or basal segment and usually longer and thicker than that of following segments. This is the picture of scape and arrow is pointing towards scape. Now second part of antenna is pedicel. Pedicel is second segment which is generally smaller than that of scape. This is this picture of pedicel. And the third part is flagellum. All remaining parts other than pedicel and scape are uh, usually similar and uh, together called as flagellum. This is the flagellum and uh, in which we can say in which we can see that all remaining parts are uh, usually alike or similar and uh, this is the flagellum of an filiform antenna. These are all three parts of an antenna, first scape, then pedicel and then flagellum. In this manner they join together, uh, base, uh, in the base is scape, then pedicel and then flagellum. Now you are looking at the picture of a typical filiform antenna. This is, uh, this is a filiform antenna which is found in case of a grasshopper. After this we will discuss the types of an antenna. So. There are uh, almost 15 types uh, in that first uh, type is stasis type. Uh, now I want to tell you people that uh, uh, generally we will discuss the flagellum of these antennae. Because uh, scape and pedicel are almost same in case of every antenna and uh, where there will be any difference in case of uh, scape and pedicel then we will uh, discuss them separately. Now stasis antenna. Stasis antenna means bristle like uh, segments of flagellum gradually taper or narrow towards apex like uh, here in case of stasis antenna. This is the stasis antenna and uh, in this picture uh, we can see that that uh, flagellum uh, segments are gradually tapering towards an apex. The arrow is pointing towards the stasis antenna. In, uh, the in insects with stasis antenna are cockroaches silverfishes and some others like dragonflies, damselflies and stoneflies. Second, form, second type of antenna is filiform antenna. Filiform means thread-like. Thread -like. Segments of flagellum are almost cylindrical in case of filiform antenna and, uh, some, uh, and of same thickness like a thread. So the pictures are showing you the filiform antenna and uh, arrow is pointing towards the pictures. Insects with filiform antennae are a grasshopper as we have discussed in the beginning of the topic and uh, uh, airwigs also some insects like locusts, uh, red cotton bugs, sausages and shield bugs are having the filiform antennae. The third type of antenna is moniliform. Monili mean bead like uh, circular or globular structure. The segments of moniliform antennas flagellum are more or less globular like a bead. And this picture is showing you the moniliform antenna. And the insects uh, having moniliform antenna are termites, wrinkled bark beetle, double tails and beaded lace wings. The fourth type of antenna is serrate or dentate. The word dentate uh, is showing you the tooth-like structure or saw-like structure. 
so uh, the definition of serrate or dentate antenna is like that the segments of flagellum of serrate or dentate antenna have short triangular tooth like projections on one side yes you can see in the picture that uh, the segments of flagellum have short triangular tooth like projection on one side the arrows are pointing towards the serrate or dentate antenna now the insects uh, with uh, serrate antenna are this click beetle yes and also pulse beetles the fifth type of antenna is pectinate pectinate uh, means comb like structure so we can define pectinate as the segments of flagellum have long cylinder and and stiff projections on one side or on both sides when it would be on both sides then it would called as bipectinate and when the projections would be on one side then it would be called as pectinate antenna now you can see in the pictures uh, uh, these are all uh, comb like structures and called as pectinate now the insects with pectinate and bipectinate antenna are click beetle with pectinate antenna and sphingid moth with bipectinate antenna and the third one saturnide moth with bipectinate antenna and also uh, silkworm moth and noctuid moth uh, are having also bipectinate antenna the sixth type of antenna is plomos plomos means feather like or dense layers we can define it as segments of flagellum except the distal ones have thick walls of long hairs on them uh, yes what i have said that segments of flagellum except the distal ones have thick walls of long hairs on them in the picture uh, we can see that that uh, these antenna are having thick walls of uh, hairs uh, except the distal ones yes this is the arrows are pointing towards plomos antenna now the insects having plomos antenna are male mosquitoes at the head of male mosquitoes we can see that the antenna are having thick walls of long hairs the seventh type of antenna is pilose pilose means sparsely hairs in case of plomos there were dense layers in case of pilose there are sparsely hairs so we can define it uh, define it as the segments of flagellum except the distal one have very thin walls of short hair on them in the picture you are uh, looking the hairs on the flagellum segments are uh, very thin and short the arrow is point pointing towards pilose antenna insects with pilose antenna are female mosquito and uh, it is clear in the picture that uh, antenna are having thin walls of hair now the eighth type of antenna eighth type of antenna is clavate mean club shaped the segments of flagellum gradually broaden towards apex in the pictures we can uh, see that the segments of flagellum are gradually broadening towards apex these are all three pictures of clavate antennae insects with clavate antennae are butterflies antilines trogocytes and some darkling beetles now ninth type of antenna is capitate capitate means knob like or head like structure one or few segments of flagellum in case of capitate antennae are suddenly thickened to form a head like structure the pictures are showing you that uh, some segments uh, of flagellum are suddenly thickened to form a head like structures and uh, arrows are showing you the capitate antennae now the insects which are having capitate antennae are red floor beetle nitty dulid beetles powder post beetles and amblyseran beetle biting beetles now tenth type of antenna is lamellate lamellate means leaf like structure terminal segments of flagellum are expanded into long broad leaf like plates on one side in the picture we can see that the terminal segments of flagellum are expanded into long broad leaf like plates on one side the arrows are pointing towards the lamellate antennae and insects in which the lamellate antenna is found in rhinoceros beetles rutilid beetles and dung rollers 
Now, eleventh type of antenna is flabellate. Flabellate means tongue-like structure. This flabellate antenna resembles with lamellate antenna, but in this uh, flabellate antenna, one or more segments of flagellum are produced into long, thick tongue-like processes, slightly broadening towards apex. Yes, this picture is the uh, picture of uh, flabellate antenna and arrow is pointing towards the tongue-like projections. The flabellate antenna is found in case of sandalid beetles and male stylopids. Now the twelfth type of antenna is genuclate. Genuclate means elbow-like structure. We can define genuclate uh, as a scape is very long and forms a sharp bend with the remaining segments like a flexed arm. You can see that in case of geniculate antenna we have uh, discussed about the scape because scape of geniculate antenna is somewhat different than that of previous antennae. That's why we are uh, discussing the scape of geniculate antenna separately. Uh, what I have said that scape is very long and forms a sharp bend with the remaining segments like a flexed arm or elbow like structure. The pictures are showing you the elbow like structures or uh, flexed arm and arrow is twi pointing towards geniculate antennae. Insects with geniculate antennae are weevils, honeybees and also calcid wasp and stag beetles. Now the thirteenth type of antenna is aristate. Aristate means arista like. In case of aristate, we are uh, here we uh, will uh, also uh, discuss this scape because scape is somewhat different different than that of previous ones. So scape is very small with pedicel is large and triangular. The first segment of of flagellum is greatly enlarged and remaining are modified into a large hairy bristle called as the arista. What I have said that scape is very small while pedicel is large and triangular. The first segment of flagellum is greatly enlarged and the remaining are modified into a large hairy bristle known as arista. That's why this antenna is known as aristate antenna. The pictures are showing you the aristate antennae. Now the aristate antenna is found in case of fruit flies, surfeit flies and also commonly common house flies. The fourteenth type of antenna is stylate or styliform or form. We can define uh, stylate antenna as flagellum of this antenna forms a long unsegmented terminal hair. In case of uh, stylate antenna we can see in the picture that uh, a flagellum is long, unsegmented like uh, a hair and we can say that uh, it's a terminal hair of uh, the stylate antenna. So this uh, picture is showing the stylate antenna and arrow is pointing towards the flagellum which is unsegmented and long like a terminal hair. Okay, the insects uh, with the styliform uh, antenna or with stylate antenna are male flies and also mango hoppers which are also known as leaf hoppers then plant hoppers, cicadas, rubber flies and delphi seed bugs. Now the last and fifteenth type of antenna is ensiform. Ensiform means sword like. So it can be defined as segments of flagellum are thin, flattened and gradually taper towards apex like a leaf blade or like a sword. What I have said that segments of flagellum are thin, flattened and gradually taper towards apex like a leaf blade or like a sword. The picture is showing us that uh, the flagellum is uh, thin, flattened and gradually tapering towards apex. This is the picture of ensiform antenna. Now the insects having antiform uh, now the insects having ensiform antenna are green grasshoppers and acrida species. So this is the end of uh, our discussion. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh, I am Mohammed Sajid Say you goodbye and Allah Hafiz.